Can I go to East? Hi. <laughs> My poem is titled um, Close Range Casualty. <clears throat> you always feel the hit before the repercussions, always find yourself running to outrun the onslaught of thoughts running through your head, feel the adrenaline pumping through your blood, heart pump heart pumping, pounding beats in sync with your feet on the pavement, lungs driving oxygen in your body and leaving CO2 behind. But despite the anomaly you are as an organism, you can only think of running away from the problems that haunt your dreams in the silence of the night. So you fill your nights with more running and powerful impacts of sweaty bodies in a jersey and a brown ball. Turf burns mark your skin and bruises tattoo every Friday night. Weekends are where you take your fingers and dig into tender flesh because you needed to feel the pain to feel alive. You lay in bed, tracing the veins on your skin, wondering why they still work for you. Why are you even worthy of continuing on? As a high school student, you believed in the impossible. You dreamt of your future, you read it in the stars as you sat upon your stairs and whispered wishes upon their every fallen light hoping it would make a difference, hoping to God your brother would hear your pleas and come back. Only once he did come back, did you wish the truth was wrong. A coffin and an American flag. He never got to be a soldier, but he was your rock, not sure what was feeding your need to feel anything but pain. A nail lodged into your heart as you watched it pierce the coffin. You wanted to rip it from the muscle that kept you alive, but you were afraid that if you pulled too hard, it might take the only piece of yourself you still loved. I stood watching you from a distance, how you find ways to numb yourself, blood traced your wrists. I opened my ears and the scar you left on my heart, hoping you'd fill the space like you used to. I should have forgotten acted like it wasn't there, but I left it there to remember how you used to be. You'd stay up late, darkness wrapping its cold hands around your neck, sending shivers down your spine, but all you said was, I'm fine. To live this life, to concentrate on the spaces between stars, to stop reading the constellations and go back inside. To take the steps to an impossible refuge, never bringing yourself to do it because maybe you like the feeling of your heart and your chest to Hear it beat as you slept in peace. Picking up the gun from your lowest moment, a weak man's treasure placed next to the liquor cabinet for those moments when the darkness came back because you could spark light back, right? Holding your hands steady, remember the pain you felt. Allow yourself to feel the fire again. Gripping the handle, aiming with the determination of a man who's felt pain, I watched you look away. Hands trembling. I put my own up to tell you to stop, beg you to think about the future. Hope you'd think about love, faith, hope for the light you, I knew you craved. Tears washed my fear. My knees hit the ground and closed eyes were trusting you to make the right decision. You heard the click, felt it in the tips of your fingers spark. And in one second, it was over. You put the bullet in my brain and I left it there because I knew better.